the real deal, and I'm excited to see what he's got up his sleeve here as we are finally underway between the Tigers and the Wildcats. Game and it's one. Braun B, man Ooh. of the hour, getting the first shot and almost setting up a goal as that pitches all the way back to the LSU end. Oh, you talked about a quick start there. You saw Brian B immediately getting a, a shot through, almost a quick play, Arizona's defense, okay? But yeah, a hot start in this opening. We can talk and joke all we want about LSU maybe showing any mercy at all to Arizona. It's a very different matchup. You, you almost throw the records out the window in traditional college sports when you have a rivalry like this, and make no mistake about it, this is a rivalry, and Arizona's on top. It's Jelly opening the scoring. Nudging, look at this carry. That's what really takes the defense out. Ajax tried to read the play. Lotek got caught off guard. Thought he had a play off to the side, but there's Jelly with the intercept. And what do you know? The Wildcats are on the board early. First minute belongs to Arizona for now. Here goes Nudging. Again, trying to set up another play. And he almost got a piece of Braun B. Now, how long can Arizona hold this lead? You know, it's a potent attack, and it's exactly that long. 17 seconds later, Braun B ties it. And there it is. Braun B, we talked about him before coming into it, and he's looking pretty consistent. He got that quick shot play earlier, but the accuracy is on point for him. And look. Tied up getting two goals within the first minute. So now can Arizona prove it wasn't a fluke? Questions need to be answered all throughout this series. Tough questions, especially for Arizona. Low tech almost sniped the corner. Jelly will try to carry this away, but not a lot of boost. In fact, none in the tank. Just back and forth hoping that boost spawns for him. It does not. And Arizona has to try and make their way downfield with Virtually nothing in the tank. JoJo Cats can climb the ladder here, but they don't have much else left. Nudging JoJo Ooh. Cats. Somebody's got to take boost. They finally do, and JoJo's got to use it to make that stop. There's a bump, too. on Bra uh, Brian B got a bump on Jelly. Jelly was in the air, and Brian got a bump to try to throw off his aerial just a little bit, which could have had big implications depending on what LSU planned on doing with the ball. But that being said, unlike how LSU aren't giving the Wildcats any space, but they are getting a little bit aggressive in Ajax. Good thing he's last man back there. The push from the Wildcats could have been dangerous. Braun B met in the air by the defense of Arizona, but it's Ajax continuing the play, stealing a little bit of boost from nudging. It's all Jelly can do to prevent a shot on, and this will just roll a little bit wide. Tried to catch Ajax napping, not gonna happen at this stage. Oh, Ajax. Woo. He thought he had a pass to Low Tech, but it's Low Tech who's jumping to make saves. Jelly almost had one. Oh, nudging right under the bar. Wildcats take the lead. Oh, I was just wondering, it's just a matter of time. When are they gonna score? This ball hit everything except the net until nudging got there. And a huge sigh of relief coming out of Arizona. They don't leave that goal on the table. And now LSU has to answer back again, but they gotta wait as Arizona's controlled the ensuing kickoff. Going head on and get a piece of Ajax and nudging has that go right out to Jojo and he just lobbed one casually towards the net. That wouldn't have beat a lot of defenders and unfortunately you got world-class defenders what? on the side of LSU as that's gonna be off the mark. That was a really good challenge too, almost in the net. But Wildcats, in terms of the rotation, it's been really well here. They got to watch out for this solo play. Slow Tech was looking for the dunk in, and Jelly, Jelly will be able to knock it off. Ajax plays it high, but look at Jelly. Enough speed and reaction time to get there. And uh, we, uh, a lot of people had questions about Arizona going into it, but they look well armed and ready for any challenge LSU's given them. They do not look like a team that is well behind LSU in the standings. Jelly especially playing with a ton of confidence here. Nudging to the backboard, Ajax is all over it. Had that play read like a book. He's seen it a few times or a dozen. So Ajax will casually get that back to low tech. There's no panic on the side of LSU, but this time keeps burning away. Big shot on and low tech can't catch up. Jojo Cats here with the goal. And that's everyone from Arizona. But look at the pass from Nudging to set that up. I mean. 
pinpoint perfect. And the follow-up from JoJo, pristine, 84 miles per hour, two-goal lead for Arizona. Wow. There are pitchers in college that aren't throwing that fast. This is popped up by JoJo Cats, just trying to burn some time here. Play a little bit of keep away. Low tech in front, but there's no Braun B. Jelly took him off the field. And LSU has to scramble here in the final minute. Low tech. Oh, oh. they faded out nudging. Got to be a goal, and it is. If anyone can get that follow up in this game, it's Braun B. Right after Low tech plays the ball, and it's just off. Lots of power, but also a high ball right under the bar. You got to feed the eye hand if you're LSU. Down by one, but Braun B with two of their goals. He's got them both for the Tigers. Can he, again, single-handedly drag LSU across the finish line? Low tech. Big win. JoJo Cats all day to play this. Can't get in his own head. Ajax was up already. Are you serious? Burned a lot of boots, though. It looked cool. How practical was it? Arizona back on the attack as Ajax gets past one. They, they got to scramble back. Nudging and Jelly both had their back to the ball with Low Tech and Braun B threatening to tie this game. Now here's Ajax, the pro blocked by Jelly. Now play back here. Not a lot of time. Braun B with the carry, and it's going to have to be a big one. He's off the ceiling. He tried to get a piece of the ball, but Jelly with that knockaway. And now one final chance here for LSU to get, oh, go the length of the field. Ball still up, and now it's down. Arizona Wildcats are going to take game one. Well, well, well. LSU, a little late getting off the bus here. Maybe a little groggy going into game one. As Arizona, everybody shoots, everybody scores. Look, they got to be better than the sum of their parts to beat LSU, and they were in that game, and they were better, straight up better than the Tigers in the opener. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Arizona came out with a lot of energy. And, I mean, even though LSU were playing fast and, you know, very confident, you could tell, you could see that confidence from the opener, even with Brian B in the first goal. It looked like, okay, LSU is here to play. But Arizona, the response, forcing LSU back on defense and then playing off of their mistakes. This is a good sign for them. We're going to load up game two. And for LSU, it looks like they're the team that needs to make the adjustments. All right, Arizona. You got one on the Tigers. Can you do it again? And really strike some fear into the hearts of LSU fans. I think it was a pretty lopsided chat vote when we were looking at things. A lot of LSU support. They might be starting to at least nibble on their fingernails a bit. Low tech. Bringing one through. Nudging's got to get up for it. He didn't get there, but Jelly did. How good has Jelly been for the first five minutes and 20 seconds of this series? Low tech. Double on the way. Couldn't get there and nudging. Sweeps it away. But is the pressure gone? Oh, yeah, it's gone. Nudging. They can nudge Ajax into their corner. Good and, that, <laughs> and now you're starting to see that at least battle for midfield happening here. Keep an eye on LSU because what it looks like is they're pushing a lot of resources forward when they're playing on offense. But that's going to lead to at least Arizona being able to get some space. And when Arizona do, we'll see how that defense from LSU handles the pressure. They gave up three big goals in game one. And the defense was exposed. They're going to be looking to fix that. Biggest concern I have for Arizona. You see it with Jelly on the ball. Four boost. He has not had much boost at all these first couple of games. He's got a full tank now. He's got a Swoop in here and deal with Ajax's service to low tech. That's a good defensive stand for the Arizona Wildcats yet again. This is awkward. Thrown in front, but JoJo Cats so far back could not come up and make the play. Oh, you can, you can tell. Arizona likes to get in the way of LSU, but now LSU's playing their own wild game. Low tech, can he find the double? Does get it straight down. Jelly able to clear away the danger for now. Braun B, that's top corner, but it's off target. Just barely hits the woodwork. Ajax gets the entire net to shoot at, and LSU will pick up their first goal off his shot. Everybody just freezes, and then they're like, who's got it? Who's got it? Oh, nobody. Okay. A little chaos in front of the Arizona net. LSU has their first lead, right? No. Yeah, their first lead 
of this series. Remember, it was Arizona that opened the scoring in game one. Jelly was absolutely awesome. He has still been a force defensively for the Wildcats. They need to get him back on the offensive end, set up a play for him. Jelly gives way here. Now he'll finally play this one through. And it's right at low tech, who puts one right on Ajax and the shot blocked by Nudging. Oh, look at Brian B trying to keep it in, but he's not going to have a follow up here. So Jelly would be able to knock this away. But this one, the first goal off a big defensive mistake. But wait, low tech, it looked like Hello. he passed it. Redirect from Ooh. Jelly. A little bit of sauce on it. And it's a tied up game. Oh, what flavor is this? Good grief. Braun B never had a chance. Woo. You now, that might that be that there. Sriracha that Jorby was talking about earlier. <laughs> Tie game at the halfway mark. What a goal from Jelly. That's how you just change the momentum. As you can see, a swap after that one. Now Ajax will get a flip reset. They'll go back into the midfield. But... I was expecting this. Oh, I wasn't expecting that, though. The shot from Low Tech goes in, and LSU get the lead back. Oh, th there's only one place this can go where a defender can't catch it, and it's right there. Bounce through, nudging. He gave it the old college try, ranged over as far as he could. That is pinpoint out of Low Tech. Big shot for LSU, but now an important kickoff. Oh! Nudging over the defense, and we're tied again. I love this. Soft cheat off the kickoff from Nudging. Has 57 boosts. Used it, gets it to the air, still has the dodge, which is so important because he was all out of boost by the time he activated it, and he shifted the ball to the top right corner. Very well mechanically done off the kickoff cheat, and just like that, Arizona strike back. We got another tie game. Spacing's got to be a little better from Arizona. They finally disperse after the kickoff, but a whiff from nudging. That's trouble. Jelly makes the save. He's had to make quite a few. JoJo Cats off the field. Nudging gets that one away as well. Pressure's on now from LSU. Arizona's got to find a way to break this hold. JoJo Cats just picks Low Tech's pocket, and that's the relief they needed. JoJo working with no boost. I think he was. It looked oh, like man. he was at the time. He's got a full boost now. He wants to get that mid left. But he's going to take this shot. And oh, a little bit fast there on the approach from JoJo. Had a clear lane and could have took the lead. But you can tell that's what Arizona are trying to do. They're trying to play fast so they throw off this LSU team. But they got to be careful because one bad touch could lead to another goal. JoJo all the way across for Jelly. And Ajax intercepted that too. You know, we talk so much about team plays needed. Ajax going to respawn, and there's no shot coming from Arizona. They had a chance there. We'll get to that in a moment as Jelly Shot's blocked away. It's so tough to get a team play going against LSU because so often it kind of works on the art of surprise, right? Where you're not expecting the extra pass to come out. Ajax has seen it a million times, and more often than not, he's there to intercept that long crossfield pass. So you can't make that play against him. You almost have to go next level against the Tigers. Yeah, if anything, you got to pull him out. You know, try to get him first man on a play. They hit the other two with a counterattack. Seems like the best case of action is that one's going to be rolling and Brian B will make a save. But in terms of that, it's, it quite literally is one of those things where you try to, you know, focus the best player, pull him out the game. Then you make a more effective attack because that, that'll increase your chances of success. Final 10 seconds and a quick shot, but it will go off, off target. Jelly will look for a final carry but it is looking like we may see overtime in game two. Ball still up and low tech still uh -oh. with the carry. Braun B moving close, but it's over his head. Overtime or forbidden temple. One goal game, three to two in game one. It'll be three, two, not to LSU yet as nudging stop Braun B from tying up the series. Now Jelly pinched that through and Ajax got there just ahead of Jojo Katz. I don't think this overtime is going to slow down at all. It's going to be fast and furious for the whole oh. minute that it lasts before somebody finally blinks. JoJo Katz has nudging in support underneath. They tried to pinch, but it goes off to the corner. It was still a good carry, though, to clear that out. That was dangerous. Uh -oh. It's still dangerous. And it looks uh, like Arizona, they just haven't been able to reset. They're all over teamwork. each other. 
Dribbling is not a team play. Oh, no. This oh, here we scary. go. Nudging counterattack, though. Got JoJo Cats downfield. And who else but Ajax sets it out. He was the first man up, though. Now he's got to rush back to help out Braun B and Lotech. Who makes the save there? Oh, he, Ajax gets bumped on this play, but nudging is out of boost. He can't follow up the ball. He's just floating. Jelly Arizona out Arizona out of boost. Repeat. Yeah, this is scary. You can see, at least the way this is looking right now, it's just been change of possession after change of possession. Both teams just booming the ball, waiting for one to make that mistake. JoJo Cats got to get there ahead of Braun B. It will roll out to low tech. Jelly went back for a boost pad that does not exist. I think it did finally. No, it spawned behind him. So he's working with nothing. Low tech trying to chase him down, but Jelly did get a full tank. Now trying to make the play here in overtime, but denied by Braun B in the LSU defense. This is some safe rocket league. Playing the sidewall. Now it's getting a little interesting. Ajax follows up on his own touch and closes out game two for LSU. Worst case scenarios. This rolls right out. Jelly doesn't get there. Nudging has had trouble with those reads off the backboard. And Ajax just eats him right up. Goes in behind the defense. Arizona almost stopped it, but almost isn't good enough. This series is all tied up. Like you said, tied up series. Back-to-back -back overtimes and back-to-back -back score lines as well with the 3-2. But just this time, it's different on who wins the game. Yeah, yeah. This time, it's LSU. You see, you see the shot total. That, that's how different it is. I mean, LSU had so much more pressure this time than in Game 1, Daz. And it felt like at times, Arizona was kind of hanging on for dear life. Oh, yeah. The rotations from Arizona definitely seem more uncomfortable. And then when you even go to the shot totals, Arizona had nine shots in game one versus the four that they had in game two. So it just seemed like the offensive firepower was not there, at least not as present as, you know, they had beforehand. I think that really goes to LSU just trying to understand, OK, let's try to give them more space, but also really play for that midfield, keep the ball to the sidewall and work around that. And I think that was their strength. But going into game three. It's a tied up series. Winner of this puts the series on match point. I don't think many people would have expected this series to be tied after two. Ajax, after Lotex clears the runway, makes it 1-0. And you see Ajax with the carry. Has to get it past Jelly, but just plays it low. And then just simply just moves downfield because it's an open net. Like you said, Lotex <laughs> cleared <laughs> that entire orange half. Well done for MLSU. So Arizona's got to play from behind 16 seconds into game three. Momentum has definitely shifted in LSU's favor. Ron B will intercept at midfield and try to take this over himself. Could be a little bit of trouble though. Nudging to the backboard. Dropped it down for Jelly to tie. Loose on the goal line and JoJo catch delivers. Yeah, you saw the ball bouncing right in front of the box here. Jelly just barely misses, but Braun B is like, how do I get around this? <laughs> and JoJo Cass just doesn't give him enough time to think about it. It's just like playing Jenga. No chance. Still a lot of rocket lead to go here. Good quick answer out of Arizona. Jelly flip reset. Got a piece of Braun B still loose in front. And now the pressure heats up from the Arizona Wildcats. JoJo. Can still follow this, but couldn't get down to the ball. Got nudged out of the play. And here, speaking of nudge, nudging couldn't quite get that ball center. Needed one more touch. Here they are playing that corner. Got to be careful with that. I like this bait, though, from Jelly to force the flick out of Ajax. But it's much better if he has someone to follow him up. Because, look, Ajax just gets uh -oh. the ball. And he oh. does it all by himself. What a play. Oh, my goodness. Flip reset. Just has nudging waiting and waiting. When Nudging finally commits, Ajax just slips it right under. Man, there's just something different about Ajax. It's a shootout in game three. That's the second time he scored a goal. You would think, okay, after the first one, we probably would learn something here. But Braun oh. B, flip reset! And Ellis, you are running away with game three early. Flip resetty again and again and again. They have found the weakness against the Arizona Wildcats. Such a, it's so weird to say, such a simple play, 
is just undoing the Arizona defense. It's tough, right? Because you have so many options when you yep. go up for that ball. You can either play it high, go for the play off the backboard, you could go for the flip reset, or you could go for the flip reset and then fake it. If, if you're a player on defense, you have to guess that. I mean, the best thing to do is to work with the team, have one person play high, have the other play low, but they don't know that. Oh, they Hello. know that pressure though. That's what they know, and that's what's working for Arizona. They bring this one back to be a one-goal game. I think LSU got a little overconfident here. They left that net wide open for a good 15 seconds there. You had somebody rotating in, kind of. But they were always on the back foot there. LSU is, I would say, kind of let Arizona back into this game here, and we'll see if the Wildcats punish them for it as Jelly. Trying to get around one. He does. JoJo Katz. I think might have been trying to pinch that with him. Trying to center here and low techs all over, but not convincing clears out of LSU. Arizona able to kind of get comfortable in the offensive end. And they're really forcing the issue, which I don't think LSU is ready for. It didn't seem like they were ready for it either. But they're still trying to add on to that score line, get themselves an insurance goal. Because now when you look at the clock, you realize, oh wait. There's still plenty of time in this game. We're not even halfway through, and it's still a one-goal difference. This might as well be nothing-nothing right now. With this much time on the clock, no lead is safe. Ajax could not convert on another flip reset play. This time more of his own doing. Jelly. This will go deeper into the zone. Braun B is all over it. Nudging's got to get back, and he's got plenty of time to play this. Yeah. Oh my, he's able to get the boost, gets a follow-up touch on that as well. That's a lot of work being done. And now it looks like Braun B's last bag. No, Lotech gets there in time to stop that one. Then the demo comes through just to buy some more time. But yeah, you can see Arizona starting to slowly turn things around. That offense is getting deadlier and deadlier. They are finding a lot of weaknesses in that LSU defense. The shots aren't missing by much. Here goes Braun B. Stuffed by Jojo Cats. Ajax waiting very, very patiently at the back. Looking to try and sink Arizona again. He thought about coming up, but instead we'll have to play this from the side wall. Out to Braun B. And a big whiff. Here come the Wildcats in formation out of the zone. Jelly. Oh, had that bounce right in front of him. Kind of got caught in between plays and Jojo Cats left all alone against Ajax. Fortunately for Arizona, he made the play. Brian B trying to make that extra play. You see him get that extra touch. LSU still holding on, though, to their one goal lead despite Arizona trying to fight Not back. Long. Maybe a chance here. Ball in front. No one there. It's going to be a pass out. And what a chance that goes by for Arizona. Man, that demolition opened up so many options for Arizona. Did not work out. Got to go back to the drawing board here in the final minute. JoJo Cats couldn't follow this play, so Ajax all day to play with that ball and eventually met by Jelly. He is still down there, still a threat. Low Tech gonna get back into the play in a moment. Called Ooh. into action here oh. and just got a piece of nudging to throw off the shot. Oh, that was so close. Still on the attack with 25 to go, but LSU holding on desperately, trying to take Another game, 3-2. Nudging with Jelly running underneath. Big stop by Braun B. And again, Arizona has to go back to their own zone. Another huge intercept by Lotec. Trying to win the game and finish it at midfield. Braun B playing keep away. JoJo Cat's going to be off the mark. Lotec can down it. And that will do it in game three. It goes 3-2 again, Daz. But Arizona showed a lot of fight in the final two minutes. Yeah, Arizona really tried to get back into this one. The offense was much better than we saw in game two. But the problem was is that a lot of time was being killed due to LSU playing the midfield very well. They were able to keep Arizona from scoring a lot of deadly shots. They honestly kept a lot of opportunities from falling uh, as well, just from being able to cut out a lot of potential plays. Also, Arizona, when they were on the ball moving up on offense, it just seemed like there was too, it was too frantic. It wasn't controlled enough, whereas if they were playing a little control, passing it more in between each other, they could have had a lot of better chances there. They have to keep cool, calm, and collected because in terms of this series, this is a deciding game four. On to Utopia. 
Will it be the end of Arizona in this series? Or can the Wildcats force game five? Hey, Texas Tech took North Texas the distance. Teams at the top of the West getting a gut check here on a Wednesday night. Goes deep into the zone and nudging will play it out of harm's way for now. Low tech for Braun B looking for another early goal out of LSU. Remember the, the I mean the biggest difference in that last game was simply Arizona couldn't stop a flip reset. They couldn't defend against it. Braun B double on the way and nudging went up to meet him. Good stop there, but the pressure's still on. Ajax looking for the top right corner, but off target. And you can already see LSU starting to force the issue. They want a goal early. Oh. But so does Arizona <laughs> oh. and Lotec called to make two clutch saves early on in this game. Doing a lot of work defensively. Now this booming clear downfield well over Braun B. And Jelly. Oh, I think he might have been hoping nudging would turn into that play. Instead, he went back behind midfield. And another opportunity gone by the wayside for Arizona, forced into defense on their own end again. But they can fend off LSU for now. Braun B, center for low tech, blocked again by JoJo Katz. No, oh, but Ajax gets some free space. And that's going to be a really big one. You see Braun B, though, that's an easy touch. And low tech last back. And that's really good for him. Keeping the ball close. That way he has to play a 50. It doesn't get away from him. And LSU have enough time to get back, but nudging with the flip reset chance here. Pressure mounting as Arizona try to get some chances on offense. But so far, so good as JoJo will find the first goal. How about this pass coming out of here? They've been trying this infield pass so often. Finally, JoJo Katz is up and in position for it. His fourth goal of the series gives Arizona a crucial lead in a must-win game. It's the speed for me. The speed on JoJo Katz for the shot. You see Lotech try to go up to put a hand up, but he just stood no chance. Was way too slow on that one, and that's what really made the difference there. Is everybody was set, but JoJo was ready. So Arizona is setting the tone here for game four. We'll see how LSU responds. Oh, Jelly came up, nudging off the respawn, makes the save. Oh, you never see that. A player gets demolished in the same play. They respawn to make a oh! save, and then they collide at midfield. It's a team bump for LSU, and Nudging punishes them. Nudging just had the best drive ever. Spawns gets the save, moves downfield, gets lobbed a pass, and slots it home. Two goal lead for Arizona off the mistake from LSU defense. He plays defense, he plays offense. He'll probably be casting game five while he plays. Good grief. Nudging, putting on a performance. And he has had his struggles in this series. Boy, he's washing it all away with this game four showing. You still have to hold on for two and a half minutes. And that is a monumental task with how good LSU has been, especially in the clutch. Braun B, double, oh! bang, bang, no, it's nudging who clears away. It goes far down, but not through. Oh, this is scary. There's the demo. JoJo able to make the save before getting demoed. Nudging is the last one there and is going to be able to hold things off for the moment. But look at LSU still trying to come up with a play. It's unbelievable on this drive they haven't scored yet. Still off target is the shot from Ajax and Brian B will try to keep it in. And Brian B especially after having a double that looked like it was 90% in still got knocked out. Man. LSU are going to be wanting a lot of chances back. Maybe they could get this one. It's off the woodwork again. This is by far the best defensive stand that Arizona has had this season. They try to go to four and two by the end of this. They're at least going to give themselves a chance with defense like that. Trying to force game five against an undefeated LSU squad. Ajax, all alone defensively. That's the guy you'd like to have back there if you have to have only one. And he does just enough to give Lotech and Braun B a chance to keep LSU in this game. Oh. Nudging way up top to meet him. Just proactive defense out of Arizona. They are not hesitant at all. And that's the thing, too. With nudging's angle, how can you play on offense against somebody you can't even see coming? He, he comes from right behind him and says, no, you are not getting that time today. There's a demo downfield on Ajax. 
And that's going to kill a lot of time here for the LSU office because he's going to need some boost to work with. And he has to play the ball on this one. Everything is working right now for Arizona. It looks like they're going to force game five if this keeps up. With all the caster's curses we've seen on the grid, you're really going to say they're probably... Okay, sure. Let's see if it holds up. 30 <laughs> seconds. Ajax. Lob one downfield. Only one man to beat, but it's nudging. Who's up to the task now? Braun B. Looking for Ajax. Found him, but low tech. What? Oh, this still gets through and nudging. All he could do is bang it off the post. And that keeps Arizona off the scoreboard. Double commit out of the Wildcats. They're not going to get punished for it as Jelly throws one downfield. Time is going to run out despite Dazrin's best efforts on LSU. And we go to Champions Field. Game five, the rivalry continues to deliver. Listen, when I'm on the CRL broadcast, it's reverse caster curse. We saw what happened with Adverse the other day, okay? <laughs> Look, I, if I'm calling it, it's probably going to happen. That's all I got to say. But that being said, I don't think we expected this one, especially after coming off of that game three. It really looked like LSU had everything going for them, and they had a pretty simple strategy, just flip reset, and Arizona's defense would, would fall apart. They didn't really do much of that. Uh, this game, a lot of the plays were doubles off the backboard and just infield passes into shots that were either off target or straight to an Arizona defender. And the shutout is very important here. LSU weren't able to come up with anything on offense and Arizona have all the momentum going into Champions Field. Somehow, LSU did not score. There was a, a good, what, 30, 40 second stretch of time where you thought it was inevitable something would get through. But just next man up. For the Arizona defense, can they do it again? I mean, that, we've been asking Arizona a lot of questions throughout the series, and the answer for the most part has been, yeah, sure, we're Arizona. Did you forget? They are really stepping up here. Now it's looking like another chance. Oh, oh. oh, that's a double commit to save that one. Speedy shot, good save. Almost an explosive start with the fireworks in the background. Now nudging blocked emphatically by the LSU defense. Low tech standing tall. Ajax just throwing one towards nudging, trying to force him to make a mistake. Good nudging! luck. He ain't doing anything wrong. Everything nudging touches turns to gold. Picks this one up off his own half. Says, give me one touch. Give me another. Defense can't stop him. His name is nudging. And he's got the first goal for Arizona. That's incredible. 45 seconds into game five. Biggest match of the season so far for Arizona. And they are not shying away from the occasion. Braun B for Ajax. The question now for LSU. All right. All right, pro player. When are you taking over? Can Ajax take over against Arizona? Or will it have to be somebody else? That's going to be the biggest thing. I mean, look at him. He can't even get to the ball. Jelly's on top of it. It looks like the rotation's here. Perfectly matched for these two teams. Lotec will get that one, and it's in! Defense can't get there in time! Tied up ball game! Link Nudging was wondering if JoJo Cats was going to be up for this ball, and he was not. That's a big break for LSU. They tie this game. Now, how does Arizona answer? It becomes a mental game as much as anything here. Jelly sweeping that ball away. Low tech throwing one on and nudging. At least pop the ball out of harm's way. Jelly in a tough spot. And Bronby is all over that ball. Now JoJo Katz trying to center. Doesn't have anybody in support, but it still almost got past Ajax. Well, they're keeping up the speed here. It's tough for LSU to really get a good ball to play. And that's just because you can see Arizona swarming all over it, quite literally living up to the Wildcats name with how quickly they're able to transition. Look at that, that's so dangerous. Lotech has to get a piece of this because Jojo Cat came screaming in. Jelly got a rush back, Braun B breathing down his neck, but he outran him. Now looking to turn it into a goal on the other side, but Ajax, of course, makes the stop. The fun police snuffing out the threat yet again. That bounces off of nudging and Jelly comes in and that was a little scary for the Arizona defense. Now let's see what LSU can do with nudging off the field. Absolutely nothing. 
Uh, at this point, they're just trying to clear it out, get as much space. But it's very clear that they're not going to be able to play their own game here just from how Arizona is there every single moment to get into the way. They're trying to go for demos. They're trying to play a high ball. It hasn't worked yet. Brown B will try to see if he can follow it up. Will he get the double? He does, but it's to no one as they'll go off into the corner. Nudging needed that corner boost and finally got it. Arizona was getting starved out. They were going to give up a goal. They still might as Jelly pops one away. They have weathered the storm from LSU, but here's Ajax, and he oh! got the double! Ajax, look at this, he waits for Jelly to get low on the ground, uses it to ramp his car up, finds the double. JoJo Cats is just a tad bit off, and that's all that matters, because now it's a one-goal game in favor of LSU. It took three minutes into game five, and Ajax made his mark on this series, his fifth goal. And now LSU looks for insurance, dropping one down. That is away from nudging. Jelly backflips, starting to come unraveled a bit for the Wildcats. Whoa. Ron B lobbed to the backboard. Second touch, slams into the corner. And look at the Tigers. Cool, calm, and collected. Slot over to Bron B. Low tech is in the air. And all the confusion, Bron B knows exactly what his job is. And he delivers a crucial goal for LSU. Frustration mounting for the Arizona Wildcats. This series that showed so much promise is slipping away from him. JoJo Cats couldn't force one through, nor could Jelly. And nudging, all he can do is at least try to keep the play alive. Got very little to work with. Flip reset is well off the mark. And Ajax has ball and time and teammates in support. They're all staying back. LSU going into the defensive shell. That's going to be lobbed up. Double commit defensively. Can Arizona get back on them? No. Low Tech keeps that one close to the vest. And again, LSU survives for now. And at this point, it's looking a little scary for Arizona. We're going to need to see some magic here because the defense from the Tigers can totally close this game out just from staying in their half alone. We got sub-50 seconds left here in game five. Jelly around low tech, only Braun B to, meet, to beat. It's a two-on-one. Ajax gets back to save the day for the Tigers. Now JoJo Cash was looking for nudging, instead found Braun B. Now Arizona's got to get creative. 30 seconds left. Nudging brings him back within one. That's exactly what they need and at the right moment. Jelly with a touch up. Ajax couldn't get a piece of this ball. Nudging was set and ready. Now we have to see whether or not Arizona can tie this one up. They don't have much time. 27 seconds plus however long they can keep the ball in the air. Got a team bump again out of LSU. That opened up one goal. Already in this game, JoJo Cat streaking downfield, but Ajax makes one stop. Gonna need to make another, and he grabbed the full boost to do just no that. Way. Nudging oh. just barely got back, but can he make another stop? No! Braun B sinks Arizona! This is a real tough one to look at. Nudging just in a poor spot. And Braun B has this all day as soon as he plays a high. And I think that. It's gonna be the one that ends this series. LSU looking like they're gonna take this one 4-2. That boost spawned for Ajax the split second before he drove over it. And he is able to launch that ball all the way downfield to set up Brunby's dagger. And it's LSU 7-0, still the king of the hill until somebody says otherwise. You got to give credit to Arizona, though. They had everything yes, going for them. Everything going for them until it came down to that last play. And honestly, I, I saw it develop. Nudging was in the corner. He saw the ball bounce off to the side. It looked like Nudging wanted to go for it, but it also, Jelly also committed too. Jelly got beat, and as no one was home, Nudging could only work with what he got. So it, it just ended up, everything was banked on one play and it didn't work out for Arizona. But that being said, man, they played a close series against LSU. And I think LSU, you know, they're definitely counting their lucky stars. Some of those plays went, went south because uh, who knows how that one would have ended if Arizona got some things going. We've talked a lot about Arizona's like fall from grace, you know, fall from the top. Uh, you know, look, there's still three and three here. There's still a team that is right on the cusp of getting into the playoffs. This, okay, game differential helps, but boy, it would have been so huge 
if they, like Ohio State, could have been the and one in somebody's X and one record. Instead, they're just another victim of the LSU Tigers, who now advance to 7-0. and Another team used to being at the top in the West. They're looking up at a lot of teams because they've only played twice. Oregon takes the field against the Cal State Fullerton Titans. Our final match is up next.